everyone welcome to automotive diagnosis youtube channel so today i have this ford with airbag lights flashing just right there so we're gonna see how we can diagnose the airbag system on this car and how we can find the fault code okay let's start okay because my airbag light is flashing most likely i have a fault code so the first thing i did i have connected my scan tool to the obd2 connector so before starting the uh, troubleshooting, because many times after uh, publishing the videos, uh, some of you ask me about the scan tool and what type of scan tool I use for uh, fixing this car. So today I'm going to show you the scan tool that I'm going to use. And because I'm troubleshooting on the airbag system, I'm going to need a decent scan tool to make sure my scan tool covers the airbag system completely on this car. So today I'm using uh, this scan tool which is uh, uh, which is launch x431 pro and we're gonna start checking the airbag system right now so I have already connected the interface to obd2 connector my ignition switch is on and let's see uh, what fault codes we have all right let's start I'm gonna open the program all right intelligent Diagnose. Just wait for the VCI uh, to connect. All right. Uh, and scan tool is reading the VIN number. Okay, that one is okay as well. So as you see, I have a Ford Territory 2009, which is exactly what uh, I have today. So I'm going to for diagnostics right now. Ignition switch is on. uh all good so you you see all the possible options on this car right here so i can go for smart detection so system is going to detect all the systems and if there is any problem any fault code on on the car is going to show me like this so for example on this car i have multiple problems on this car so i'm trying to fix them uh, fix all of them uh, one by one so as you see i have four faults on the abs system on bem i have nine fault codes uh so system is going to detect all of them but i'm not going to worry about all other systems uh, i'm going to focus on airbag system right now which is right here rcm if i click on rcm which i have three fault codes right now so i have these codes right there so this one is for impact sensor error and the other one is for airbag error so this one doesn't uh, say specifically what fault code is that because on this ford a couple of different faults can make can can create one false code all right so i'm gonna select enter uh to see what are the possible causes and because this car had accident from the front side uh that's why we have uh, the impact sensor fault code as well and for that one uh, i just need to replace the impact sensor so if i read the fault code from here Again, I have those three fault codes that I read earlier. So when I look for the fault code uh, in the workshop manual, as you see, this is the fault code that I just got from the scan tool. And the fault code doesn't say exactly which airbag is faulty. Restraint system, airbag status. So this one is actually for the front airbag. As you see, the airbag control module checks all of the front airbag circuits for the faults. So it means, it could be the passenger airbag or driver airbag. We don't know which one because uh, this uh, fault code doesn't, uh, doesn't say specifically which airbag is faulty. And if I go to the next page for the possible causes, I have driver airbag and passenger airbag. So on the driver airbag, it could be the wiring, driver airbag, uh, sub harness, a faulty clock spring, a driver airbag module or the airbag control unit. And on the passenger side, I have damaged wiring, uh, faulty passenger uh, airbag, or faulty airbag control module. So checking all these is going to be really, really hard. So uh, I'm going to need to find a quicker way to find the fault and to get the car fixed. So what I will do for finding which airbag is faulty, I'm going to go back from this page. Uh, and you see, read data stream. I'm going to click on data stream. Uh, to find the airbag that I'm after 
I'm going to find the data stream for front airbags, uh, passenger and driver side. So here you have all uh, data, you can select all from here and OK. So I'm going to look for the live data for front airbags. OK. So here is driver airbag 2 resistance. 25 ohm and driver pretensioner 2.3 I, I don't have any problem on the pretensioner for sure because I have the problem on the driver airbag side so so normally the airbag resistance should be something around 2 ohms okay so even 2.3 or something around 3 ohm is still going to be okay but when the resistance is 25 ohm it means there is something way wrong on on here so driver airbag to resistance and if i go for finding the passenger side airbag uh so you see again 2.4 2.5 still i'm gonna be uh exactly on the specification so uh, what i'm getting from the scan tool is the problem is on driver airbag side and two is because uh, this driver airbag has two airbag inflators so I have a stage one and stage two and the problem apparently is on a stage uh, two which is giving me really high resistance so as far as I know I don't need to focus on passenger airbag anymore I need to focus on the driver airbag because I'm having high resistance right here on the scan tool so I'm gonna uh, remove the driver airbag and uh, i'm going to show you how i can fix it but beforehand before removing the driver airbag let's have a look at the wine diagram so you will have a proper view about a uh, driver airbag so here is the wine diagram for this car for airbag on this ford and if you look right here driver airbag inflator and as you see i have four wires all right so the wine diagram doesn't make it a specific which one is a stage one which one is stage two and if you have your airbag with only one stage you're gonna have two wires in here and because you have four wires for sure you have a stage one and a stage two and we know that the problem for our car is uh, our car is on stage two so i'm gonna need to remove the driver airbag and i'm gonna show you how uh, I can find if the problem is from the airbag or from somewhere else. So as I just said, we have the driver airbag with two uh, stages, with two inflators. So uh, what's going to be the possible cause? So one cause can be the airbag itself. The other one can be the wiring between the airbag and airbag control unit. And it can be the airbag control unit as well. Uh, if you remember what was written inside the workshop manual so basically I need to check all this wiring I need to check the airbag control module I cannot perform any inspection on the driver airbag and that resistance that we measured inside the scan tool it was exactly like this if you consider this one as one of the stages the inflator inside it does have one resistance it's going to be like this this is one stage and this is the other stage Yo, so, we, so we have two inflators. Okay, this is one of them. This is the second one. So each one of these two has a certain value of the resistance. So this one is going to be around 2.2 uh, and this one 2.2 ohms as well. All right, 2.2. But if you remember, one of them was okay inside the scan tool. The other one was 25, which is way higher than what we need. So can I remove the driver airbag and check it with the multimeter? No, of course I can't. You are not supposed to check the internal resistance of, the, uh, of your airbag with multimeter because if you do that, it might deploy the airbag. So you just need to remove the airbag and put it somewhere else. And what I'm gonna do, uh, instead of inspecting the airbag, and I, uh, of course I don't have the spare airbag to put it right here to make sure if the airbag itself is faulty or the wiring. So what I'm going to do, instead of uh, using the spare part, I'm going to simulate the airbag. I'm going to simulate the airbag right here to see if the airbag was faulty or the wiring. And for this, I can use this airbag dummy resistor. Okay, so this dummy resistor is gonna give me 2.2 ohms. So what I can do, I can remove the airbag, disconnect the connector, okay, one by one. And I can insert 
this dummy resistor just right here into the connector. So this one is actually simulating the airbag because it's gonna provide same uh, value of the resistance for driver airbag. So if you insert this one in place, and I'm gonna show you how right now in the car, if you, if you disconnect the connector from the airbag and you, if you put this resistor inside the connector and the code goes away, it means the problem was from the airbag itself. But if you use the dummy resistor and you still have the code, you're gonna need to check the wiring all the way from the airbag to airbag control unit one by one. And if the wiring is okay, you have to replace the airbag control module. But by using this one, I can know if the problem is from the airbag itself or from the wiring or the control unit. So before removing the driver airbag, I need to turn the ignition switch off and disconnect the battery negative terminal. And I'm gonna wait for a couple of minutes then I can start removing the uh, driver airbag. All right, for uh, removing the driver airbag, I have one bolt in here and there is another one. And there is another one right on the other side. All right, I'm gonna remove the driver airbag. Okay, this is loose. And I'm gonna go for the second one. let's remove the driver airbag all right as you see here i have two connectors on this airbag so one is going to be a stage one one is going to be a stage two uh, and as you remember what we had in the workshop manual we had four wires so two wires here two wires there totally we have four wires for this airbag and we have two inflators so what i'm gonna do i will grab uh this dummy resistor I will grab this airbag dummy resistor uh, and uh, I'm gonna remove the connectors one by one all right and I will put this one into the connector to simulate the airbag because technically I cannot take any measurement on the driver airbag as I said earlier uh, so by doing this one I'm actually trying to make sure if the airbag is faulty or fault is from the wiring side or airbag module so I'm gonna remove these ones one by one and I use the dummy resistor. So the first one, just like this. All right. And I insert this dummy resistor inside. So by using this one, I'm actually uh, simulating the airbag. Okay, so let's put this one just like this. Connect the battery negative terminal back on I turn the ignition switch on all right and let's see if we still have the fault because what we did we simulated the airbag and we're gonna try to erase the code or we can check the live data as well so I'm gonna go for diagnostics I go directly for the system list for airbag and enter. All right, let's uh, read the file codes. So I still have this fault code. I'm gonna try to clear the codes and see if that fault code goes away. All right, so I don't have the fault code anymore, but just wanna make sure if the resistance is back to normal. I'm gonna go to live data. All right, I'm gonna select all and go for live data and if i go down to find exactly that one that i had 25 ohms for the driver airbag see if it is back to normal okay you remember this one it used to be 25 ohms and now is uh, 2.8 ohm so 
this one shows that the driver egg bag itself is faulty so i don't need to go any further for checking the wiring or for checking the airbag itself so the only thing i need to do is to replace the uh, driver airbag module and everything is gonna be uh, okay all right guys uh, i hope you enjoyed the video so this is how you can uh, troubleshoot the airbag system using uh using the scan tool and using the dummy resistor uh, to make your life easier instead of checking all the wiring that sort of thing uh, we can just find the problem and it's really safe to do so as well thank you very much for watching